Um, uh, briefly, one of those points was just investing in yourself, right? Yeah. Investing in resources. Um, you know, there's different scales. I mean, we have a client that spends a hundred thousand dollars a year just on one coach. Yep. You know, I know you spend quite a bit. Yeah. Why don't you talk a little bit about? I spend thirty k. I believe that in this insurance industry, the potential is limitless. Good grief. Um, and I believe that a pillar of success is really investing in yourself and getting around people that have a different mindset than mm-hmm. maybe what that can challenge you. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about, you know, maybe what you do to, to invest in yourself, what you would maybe recommend someone does to invest in their self as well. Just kind of talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that's something that it's kind of, it's, it's something that I ignored. I'm a naturally super competitive, confident, sometimes in the past, even cocky individual. Yeah. I just am. Okay. And for me, I'm the guy that feels like I can put my team on my back and just figure it out. Yep. But there's better ways to figure it out. Yep. And so the last 12 to 18 months, you say, well, you know, your, your brands have skyrocketed. Your channel is four or five X, you know, all true. But it's because I put my ego aside, you know, I left my arrogant self at the door and said, yep. hey, I want more. I want to grow. I want to learn. And the first place I noticed it was when we went to 10X, I went to 10X Growth Con 2 with, yep. with Lauren, sat front row with 9,000 people in Vegas, Cardone's conference. And, and that was the first time that I realized not only how much events can change people's lives, because it changed mine. Yep. It just did. But also, there's people out there that have been successful. They know how to help you be successful. Oh, and by the way, you should probably plug in and learn from them so that you can speed up the success and really sprint to success. Yep. Instead of just wanting to fail 8 million times along yep. the way. Yep. And you yep. still will, but maybe we can only fail 4 million times instead of 8. You know exactly. what I mean? So, so, you know what? You know, you mentioned, you know, how much did you spend for that, that those tickets at 10X? 15 grand. And I bet that check wasn't easy to cut. 15000 And I've never spent that much in anything other than like a house or a car before ever. Dude, it was so hard. Uh, you know, we threw it on a business credit card. Walk me through the mental wrestling match you had and most likely wrestling match you had with your wife. You know, was it like, did you have to talk her into it? Was it, Man. was she all on board? You tell me about that. That's got to be a She's story. Been, you can see I'm like squirming and getting uncomfortable in my seat because <laughs> I've like not talked about this stuff, if, especially if you're watching on camera. Uh... Gosh, she's been super supportive, but we both were like, holy crap, it's $15,000. Yep. That's a lot of zeros, and especially if you include, you know, the, the, the cents, right? But I knew, and that's, the, that's what happens is at some point you just know by me doing this, it's going to pay off long term. Yep. You can see it. The last... So long, it's been all about long-term investments. I did a video not too long about, do you think short-term or long-term? Everything we've been doing, we've been investing millions and actually millions into helping people more and more long-term. Yep. That's what we create 8% Nation. Most people know we spent five, 600 grand on 8% Nation last year. That's a lot more than 15K. 